He loves it, but he wants to change the way the game is played as little as possible while still fixing problems. I already like this guy. This is already... I would already throw... I would already give the game and the fucking keys and whatever you need to change it. I'd already shove it into his hands. Reading that one sentence alone. I agree. They strike has some problems, both with balance and system mechanics. Most people who play it will readily admit this. I'm not so sure these days. Never updated or fixed. Never really got an acceptable console port with no extra input lag and all features intact. 3S dash. Change the way the game is played as little as possible. Won't find any remove yawn. Problem explanation. Whiffing normals attacks for meter. I agree, that should go. Most of the strong characters benefit from that. Most of the weak characters don't benefit from that. It's not inherently broken, I don't think. Or in my opinion. But um, the fact is, it, it makes the top tier characters stronger and the low tier characters weaker. Each successive whiff normal now scales the whiff normal meter gain rate by half. Oh, that's a very creative solution. Whiff specials are not changed. Scaling is reset whenever the move touches an opponent on hit block parry, or your character gets hit block parries. I really like that. That's already a nice nice thing. Parries, plus two on the cooldown period after attempting a parry. Before another parry is allowed. During the cooldown period for a specific parry, if you are hit with an attack, this parry the same way as the parry you suffer a crouching damage bonus. You attempt a forward parry and miss, and they're hit by an attack and be parried by a forward. During the cooldown period, you take 25% extra damage. Penalize people for mistiming parries without penalizing them extra for guessing wrong. I have no downside for this change. This is fine. Parries inputted during any wake-up animation, recovery roll, or air landing on feet only have active half as long as a regular parry. That wouldn't affect much, but I'm down with it. That That's fine. I'm hesitant to change that because I don't think it's broken, but that doesn't seem like a very big change. That wouldn't, like, people already get that timing. It would just get, it would just remove meaty normals without really, meaty parries without really doing much else. Charge partitioning. As soon as they change direction, as soon as as soon as any charge direction reaches one third charge, the charge partition timer will be reset to maximum. I agree. That's an intelligent change. Charge partitioning has a semi-random amount of time of leniency. Um, it's based on there's like a timer that constantly goes down, and every single time it goes down fully, uh, it resets all charges that aren't currently being charged. So, like, you might have one frame of leniency, or you might have, like, ten. It's just random. So, like, that's that's something that's something that only someone who knew a lot about the game would think to change, and it's something that should be changed. This is very intelligent already. Like, I was going in expecting some kind of Viscant bullshit, because he wanted to change the game, but this is, this is really good. Left-right unblockables are not fixed. But any time a character is hit during block animation while they're facing the opposite direction from the hit, the damage scaling is reduced 50% for that hit in the follow-up combo. Make it still work, make it do less damage. I'm not against that. I am not against that. I like leaving unblockables in. They're technical and they're fun for both players. I'll eat unblockables if I can do unblockables. And I'd even if I was like playing Ken or something, I'd like to like fight a Yurian or an Oro that have unblockables. It makes the fight more fair. It's an additional thing to think about. And avoiding them is kind of technical. Not even just like trying to parry out, but like trying to never get in the position where you're put into them is very technical. Chun-Li. Hoyok-sen now has a maximum of one stock. That's the change! That's the one I always say! How did he also get the idea to do that? It's perfect. Chun-Li is pretty pretty shrug with only without uh, super. She shouldn't be able to stock two at once. People just die. As soon as Chun-Li gets a Hoyok Sen stock, they have to hold down back forever. And once they're holding down back forever, she gets so much extra meter. So much. It's awful. Chun-Li, like, that's a good change. Maximum of one stock is perfect. I don't know if I'd make the bar longer. That's a bit strong. I don't, I don't know if I'd actually make the bar longer. He says make it as long as Shin Shoryu. Cancel window on crouch forward is fixed to not allow super late cancels. Eh, I feel like it should be one or the other with Hoyok Sen. I know Chun Li is like the strongest character in the game, but um, um, maybe he maybe his other changes are buffs for some of her less lesser used things. 
make her two frame crouch jab into a three frame crouch jab. That's fine. Tensei Ronka hitbox reaches down to the floor so it can't be crouched. Change to pull in downwards so all hits connect versus everyone opponents. Advantage on knockdown increase to allow for cross up attempts afterwards. Maximum of two stocks available bars a bit longer, same like the Shippu. That is good. I like that. I like all of these changes. Tensai Ronka is pretty shit. You would never pick it. Super 1, you could occasionally pick. Super 1 is like okay. Middle hits of Hyoxen, fixed to not on combo occasionally versus crushing Makoto. I didn't know that. This is super intelligent. I'm actually fucking hella down with Mike Z changing this game. Chun Li now goes through mandatory one standing frame after wake up like every other character. It increases the height of her crouching head hurt box by two to three pixels. Yes. Yes. Her crouching head is way too small. They need to buff that. They need to change that on um, Chun Li, Oro, and Elena. They need to make those three characters taller. They are so short that they bug the game. Shippujin Raikyaku now has a max of two stocks instead of three. Eh, it's a nerf. Damage reduced by 15%. I don't. That's already weak as fuck. Yeah, I'm down with both of these. Even if Shippu didn't do any damage, it would still be the most useful super in the game because it converts any normal into setup. What I think they should actually do with Shippu is slow it down a little bit because the real problem with Shippu, in my opinion, is that it's three frames and it goes really far for a three frame attack. Like, you can punish a lot of stuff that's not. Like intended to be punishable. Like one, someone like came into my. He like asked me on Steam. He got punished for doing Ryu far stand forward, and I looked it up. And Ken Shippu punishes Ryu far stand forward on block, on hit, and on crouching hit. It's minus four minus. It's minus five minus four minus three for those three. So literally, like, and that's for a ton of characters for a ton of attacks. Ken once he gets super can punish so much shit, and it's retarded. Um, but I'd keep his combos, so I'd maybe make those combos a little bit more plus on hit. Um, but I like this change, I guess. Jab DP, damage reduced from 15 to 11.5. Um, I would do that, but maybe make Kara DP... Um, I would make a, a certain normal, make it so you don't need to do Kara DP. But I don't know what. Maybe like close strong. Make it so if you did close strong as your only like move, you could just do two light DPs always without a Kara. If they were going to nerf the damage, I feel like it would be okay. And then you could still have higher damage setups into double DP, but you needed the Kara. Something like that, I don't know. Maybe I'm buffing Ken a bit too much when he already needs a nerf. Grounded opponent knockback on second hand target combo. Strong face decrease slightly to help DPs miss less often. Wow. Most people just do, like, Firewall, and they're just fine with that. He's saying make Ken's combos a little stronger. Well, if he's getting the Shippu nerf, that's kind of okay. Picks the crash. He's really keeping Ken pretty much the same. Jab DP nerf is is fine. Like that would push Ken down a smidge. Like considering that he's making no other nerfs, I guess I'd like his change list. And you know, the reduced damage of Super Three. Uh Ganagian all normals increased priority. Yes, 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 yes. That's dumb. Ganagian bar length increased. So same length as Sorai Rengeki. That is Super 2, I think. Yun Super 2. That's a bit longer. Duration of the timer for the Super is not changed. Note that the damage scaling during Ganagian Juggles has not been changed. So Rengeki now has a maximum of 2 stocks instead of 3. That's fair. It's actually a really good Super. Most people don't acknowledge that. Um, up kicks, hitbox adjusted to reach further downward. So it misses standing crouching opponents less often. I'm liking this. Sun damage on Abara reduced by 50%. I like that. Okay, so Makoto can nearly dizzy everyone. Or rather, she can dizzy half most of the cast. And the characters with long dizzy bar, she can't actually touch of dizzy. What I think they should do is make it so she can almost touch of dizzy Akuma and Remy. And then, by association, she'll be able to, like, not quite dizzy. She'll be able to get, like, 80% dizzy with her uh, combos on, like, um, everyone else. Or, like, 70% on characters with long dizzy bars. Stun damage of light, medium, hard Fukiyage reduced from... Oh, he just lowers it by a little bit for each 
the hard still does the same. He's nerfing the medium and the light, which I think are the two used for her combo. Medium then light. Tond and Renki can be manually deactivated by early inputting quarter circle towards plus kick while the super art is active. You should just be able to cancel it, whatever. He that's he's a he's a super three Makoto player, isn't he? That's an out of nowhere change, but that's actually pretty smart. The deactivation counts as a special move, uses the same animation as her taunt after a Hayate, but is cancelable at any time into attacks, but not blocking or movement. So he, it'd be like a not quite Roman cancel, or I shouldn't I shouldn't even say that. It'd be like not quite, I don't know, like like a cancel you could do. It'd be like not quite a claw change from like Street Fighter Street Fighter Five Vega. Can't block, but can like link out of it or whatever. That's really neat, but it also forces you to use Tond and Renki, and then like in order to do that cancel. And Tond and Renki, you know, it is a big liability because you can't parry. I mean, you can't you can't block. I feel like you should be able to block attacks that are unparryable. I feel like that would be fair. Like Aura's half circle back punch. Karakusa startup animation will no longer automatically throw attack if Makoto is thrown out of it. I didn't even know that. Increase vacuum effect and hit stun time. Oh, that's just a one frame thing, I think. I think all command grabs will take a throw if it's the same exact frame. Increase vacuum effect and hit stun time on first set of Seichu Sen to help it fully connect at all distances or as a juggle. Sure. Fix bug where EX Oroshi will not knock down when it connects with an opponent's limb hitbox. I've seen that. Fix bug where one frame of Hayate startup animation gets get thrown box is too small compared to its push box. I didn't know that. Remove invincibility on her recovery animation after a successful Karakusa. A change on EX Oroshi into Avaria Tosanami comboing on Hugo. I didn't know that worked. Damn, he's got like hella knowledge of Makoto. Reduce stun damage on Rocket Uppercut. Re increase stun damage on Rolling Thunder. That's kind of cool. Fix drop a Rocket Uppercut's character point position to knock them backwards as often in juggles. Fix Corkscrew Blows Vacuum so that it fully hits more often in juggle scenarios. Fix Rolling Thunder to turn around if the player makes him dash again, but he goes underneath the opponent. That's cool. See if there's some way of making cross counter connect against invincible moves rather than whiffing after taking the damage. Dudley's pretty alright, actually. He thinks Dudley's okay. Is Dudley his base? He didn't nerf the top tier characters very much. He'd need to buff the bottom tier characters a lot to reach Dudley. Dudley's pretty high up. Dudley's like quite strong. He's only barely weaker than the top tiers. Urian. Fix Tyrant Slaughter slash Tyrant Punish to fully connect for maximum damage versus all characters when crouching or in most juggle situations. I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree. Increase damage by 25% to match Shinshoryu. Limit to one stock instead of two. Increase bar length slightly. Whoa. This is nuts. I actually kind of like keeping it two stocks and keeping the bar length about right. I don't know if I'd increase the damage at all. I like it because it's invincible and it combos from a lot of far attacks. And that would be the combos that it gets. You'd have a lot fewer opportunities if it was one stock. Um, he thinks Yurian is pretty much alright. Well, Yurian and Dudley are pretty much competitive. So if Dudley doesn't really get nerfs, then Yurian probably wouldn't get nerfs. I mean, Dudley, um, Burian's nerfed with the unblockable nerf, too. Akuma stun bar increased to regular size. His health can be left as is. Um, yeah. Masatsu Gorasen bar length is now shorter. That's good, because, um, you wouldn't ever pick that. KKZ motion changed to down down, and the damage is reduced. Um,. I like that. Make it usable. Make it less bullshit. Right now it's still like right now there's only one time people ever use it it's after the jab reset and it's kind of it's kind of bullshit in that reset. It does like a fuck ton of damage. Towards strong is still invincible to throws. Hmm. I like those Akuma changes. After the trajectory of Tive Kick and Tart Combo 3 Oh, alter it. So that it hits more often. Alter the trajectory of Tart Combo 3 so it lands faster. I like this. Fix bug where close stand forward will sometimes not launch the opponent. I've never seen that. Fix bug where Yun Yang can end up behind Yang after being hit by Fierce Mantis Slashes with a certain timing. 
Actually, Yang's pretty okay, too. Ryu. Decrease opponent's knockdown back, back from forward, strong on hit, to make links after it more reliable. Nice. Increase forward movement on second hit of target combo. The far far fierce into far run house. So the stamina house will connect more reliably. I like that. I hope it, it has to still function as an anti-air, though. You don't really do that on grounded opponents. So I actually probably wouldn't change that. Increase hit stun on far stand forward, standing roundhouse, close fierce, crouching fierce, crouching short, crouching forward so they're not negative on a hit. Yes, I agree with that. Expand hitbox on LK Jodon, so downward so it won't miss characters after close fierce, or as one of those characters. I agree with that. Lower opponent's knock up height from jabs, jab and strong DPs, and reduce the knock up height on the middle hits of Shinku Hadoken, so all hits of the super will connect after a DP. I like that. Ryu is strong. That's exactly right. Ryu is strong. Oro. Alright, this is I'm excited for this. Examine push boxes on Jinchu Nobori to help the stand strong chicken kick work on every character. It's um it currently doesn't work on twins and Hugo. And it works on everyone in the corner. It is a bit too inconsistent though. It would be nice if it was the same amount of timing on every character. It's like uh, unusually difficult on Shoto's and twelve. Increase hit stop and allow juggle time on Oniyama to make super cancels out of it actually useful. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Super cancels out of it are insanely useful using Crota setups. Add a forward throw. Um, I actually don't like the juggle time on Oniyama. I wouldn't change that. Add forward throw that uses the animation from his back throw but mirrored to toss them only forward. Yes, yes, yes. No way to throw without switching sides. Fix neutral throw so it cannot be escaped before 3 4 hits, same as all other mashable grabs. I just say remove max mashable grabs. Increase length of Kishin Riki to match Tengu stones. Make human pillar driver with still be a hit grab during Kishin Riki so that Oro can combo to it from things like stand forward. Increase damage of regular Kishin Riki. Air regular Kishin Riki when comboed into. Allow Aura to deactivate the regular Kishin Riki by, in by inputting Core Circle Forward Punch. Use a shortened version of the activation animation. I like all of these. Kishin Riki's pretty bad. He's not changing the EX one, he's only changing the ground one. That's a pretty short list of Aura changes. I'm down with all those. Those are He's just like fixing straight up problems with the character. And the only other thing that's really problematic is um, Super 2 unblockables. So I like all this. I like every Aura change. That's most of the changes I would make, to be honest. Elena. Allow her chain crutching short into itself. No confirmable lows, crutching short into super doesn't always combo. And she can't link super self or command overheads like Dudley Kane. I agree, I agree, I agree. Confirmable low would make Elena very strong. Elena's a teetering um she's she's potent. She's like not quite good, but like a small change would push her into good. She has extremely good overhead pressure. Giving her a confirmable low would not only give her a confirmable low, but it would also make her uh, overhead pressure like like super cheap. So like I would actually be hella down with that. That's a good one. Oh my video uploaded. Make stud up frames of all versions of Mallet Smash unthrowable as they look. Sure. Allow cancels from the second hit of standing strong, not just the first hit. That's nice. Fix Brave Dance so it juggles properly versus airborne opponent. Uh, that's a bit strong. The one of the big weapons of Super One is that it that it actually gets juggle damage. Um, I think Brave Dance should get like four hits in a juggle, and I think it should do a fuck ton on the ground. And I think that Super One should do more damage on airborne connect and like less damage on the ground than Super Two. I think that would be fair, but I think that she needs buffs overall. So I don't know. Speed up the cancel animation on healing. Increase the rate of health recovery. No, healing's already good. I mean, like, I don't know. Like, he, I like that change, because it makes it useful on more characters. But it's too good on the characters it's good on. Ibuki. Health increased 15. That's only barely going up, but I like it. Yami Shigure now has two stocks instead of one. Yeah, I agree. There's some... That's not a super good super, but it's good enough that, like, that would be that would make it, like, a very viable super if you could just hold two of them. Because there would be new combos as well. You'd be able to do, like, EX, um, uh, EX legs into uh, grounded super 
ex Sumuji rather, or you'd be able to do like stuff like that. Right now she d she can't cancel ex into she used to have be able to cancel it to Super Two, but now Super Two is gone. It's been replaced by a new Super Two. Allow Suji Suji Goa, the command jump to be special and super cancelled much earlier. That would be kind of she can already do instant air super one, making it a bit easier just by doing a DP motion then quarter circle. Wouldn't really hurt the top level of players, but would help the bottom level of players. Um, I like that change. If if it did nothing... Right now it does nothing. Right now her, that command jump literally does nothing. If they made it do one thing, that would be fine. Fix the unique animation standing fierce in her target combo. Back strong fierce and jab strong fierce to always knock down. Instead of sometimes resetting and sometimes knocking down. Huh? Huh? Standing fierce in her target combo. Back strong fierce. Oh, it, he must mean in juggles. Because that doesn't knock down opponents on the ground. Remove the ability to throw attack her personal action. And allow Ibuki to parry or attack in the air. Once the opponent recovers. Sure, why not? It's a taunt. I mean, you don't really need to, like, buff it. Chart. Change slam dance to be 2 plus 0. So the total startup is unchanged, but it can't be jumped on reaction. That would make it a pretty useful punish tool. Uh, also, it's, um... I mean, it's already a pretty useful punish tool. That would be fine. Honestly, if you had a command grab. That would be fine. It's, like, not a super long bar, but he can only hold one at a time, and he doesn't have... He wouldn't have setups into it. It's, like totally okay that he would have that. Fix push box on electric shock and add a slight vacuum effect to the middle hits of all versions so it can connect more reliably since it's so unsafe. I think they should make it more unsafe and like like have a vacuum effect but make it do more damage. Like uh, what they did with Jerry's EX pinwheel, I think they should do that with Necro Shock. Add EX electric shock. Possibly allows juggles afterwards. Certainly safer on block than fierce version. I like that. I'd make it like plus on block. I'd make it like super safe. There's not a lot else I can think of to buff for Necro that would immediately make him crazy, crazy good. Um, I don't think that's enough buffs to me be competitive with the strong characters. I don't think that would bring Necro to the level of like Dudley, even with like a, like all that would really be doing with all of those is just like bringing like make a super two viable, but it probably wouldn't even still be as good as a super one or three. And Necro's not like as good as Dudley, you know, he's not. Necro's not as good as, like, Akuma. Necro needs more than that. I don't know what I would do to Necro, but I don't think that's enough. Alex. Change Hyper Bomb. Um, total startup time unchanged, but can't be jumped on reaction. Down. I'm down. I'm down. Increase forward movement on Boomerang Raid's middle hits. Um, oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's stupid that that can fall out. If the first hit sh can hit, I feel like the whole thing should hit. It's dumb that like it can get hits and then the grab can whiff. Make all versions of air knee smash not air parryable. The X version is still ground parryable. Um, I, I don't know if I'd do that. I think I would make them unparryable, but I would make their hitboxes kind of shitty. That's what I would do. Like, uh, like if the opponent did a jumping attack, it would beat them. But if they did jump in parry, it would. I I want to give him a fifty-fifty, but I don't want to make it so that he can just be like he just punishes jumps. That's too strong. No other character can pretty much punish jumps. They need to have they need to have their existing shitty hitboxes. But they need to punish parries. I think that would be good. Give him a fifty anti-air fifty-fifty. Increase the cancel window for his tart combo. Crouch short, crouch forward to be longer than one frame. Yes, 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 yes. Alex gets crap damage out of lows. That's like his only low, serious damage out of lows. Allow juggles after flash chops that connect versus airborne opponents. I like it. Allow crouching strong to be special and super canceled. Yes, his canceling options are garbage. I'm really down with that. Uh, allow crouching forward to be super cancelled on hit block parry. I actually really like that. 
That's actually really cool. That's a weird one. Um, he said including part of the target combo. That's a bit strong. If you had like a low target combo and also like a low hit confirm and also like a command grab character. That's a bit strong. It would only be useful for Super 2. But uh, I don't know. Um, but definitely if he had low forward and he couldn't hit confirm it, it would be super risky to just do low forward into super. But the thing is, it, he, it would be a really good mix up against his other options. I guess I like overall. No, he's so weak. I feel like giving him low short, low forward into super would be good. I feel like that would be nice. I feel like he deserves that. That's like a totally okay change, really. That would make him competitive with Dudley. If we're going to move Alex up to Dudley, then he needs something like that. Fix air stampede. Uh, not knocking down if it hits a limb hurtbox rather than the body hurtbox. Fix the position anchor point and pushbox for his air knockdown and emission. A lot of juggles to work properly on him. Aura struggles work properly on him. A lot of characters' struggles don't. Fix the position of, of hitboxes on jump down fierce. To place them on his arms instead of his chest. I think they need to make that move a bit safer. His jump down fierce is way too unsafe. It's too slow. You can't really use it to air to air, which is clearly its intended purpose. And you can't use it on air to ground at all. Hugo. Allow monster lariat. I've just I've been I didn't point this out, but this is this is a tier list that's almost exactly in this is a change list that's almost exactly in order of tiers. But it's not the traditional order, it's like a weird order. This is like This is like a really modern tier list of the game. This might be his opinion of the characters in terms of strongest to weakest. This is like I've never seen a tier list in this order, but it's very it's like a postmodern tier list. I actually really like this list. I like this like I like the order that he's putting the characters in. He put Alex above Hugo though. I'd actually put Hugo above Alex. Easy. I'd put Hugo above Necro. I'd probably put Hugo above Ibuki. I don't know if I go that far. I think Ibuki's better than Elena. Allow Monster Lariat to be super cancelled on hit. Allow supers to juggle after it. Um That's good. I think that that would be okay. I like that. Yeah. He even justifies it well. You could use a full connect super 2 that would be scaled, or a partial connect hammer frenzy, which would be a partial connect. So it would be a strong incentive to pick 2, but a minor incentive to pick 3. Decrease the startup of EX Giant Palm Bomber from 22 frames to 17. That's, that's quite a bit faster. Same as the jab version. Um, It's not useless, but there aren't enough reasons to use it, so that's good. Necro is a little competitive. I think Necro deserves more buffs than he gave Necro. I think Necro is the least buffed character from what I've read so far. Um, his Necro was pretty high up. Necro's okay, but like he's not, he's not, he's nowhere near like Ken. Increase hit stun of Crouching Jab and Crouching Short by one or two frames to allow combos into EX Monster Lariat from further away. I like that. Add EX shoot down backbreaker, which struggles afterwards like his 2i version. I never played 2i Hugo. Distance can be controlled with the version chosen. I like that. Reduce startup of light, medium, heavy, meat squasher. Uh, reduce recovery on whiff. May not be useful, but at least it'll be never ever. I mean, people do use running bear, but I think they could fucking buff it. Fix wrongly offset hitboxes on frame 1 of his landing from air hit stun. Q. Allow crouching jab, standing short, and crouching short to be special and super cancelled on hit block parry. Q, he knows. Q has no cancels. Q's complete list of cancels are, I think, stand jab and close forward. And that's like it. He has like like two cancelable attacks in his entire fucking thing. He needs more cancels. He needs to be able to do damage from a low. Mike Z knows. Allow crouching forward to be super cancelled on hit block parry. Crouching forward. Yeah, Q could use that. He says this may sound like a lot, but like, I don't... This is still fine. This is okay. Allow all overhead slash low rush punches to be super cancelled. Yeah. I like that. You can actually link into a uh, super 2 from an overhead one on a crouching opponent. But I feel like you should just always get a super. Yeah, I would. I would do that. That's cool. Allow all overhead slash... The thing is, he could just... If he cancelled it... Like, like think about this. If Q had overhead rush punch into cancelled super, he wouldn't be able to hit confirm it. So it would be a huge gamble. 
But it would be okay because he'd have a low one that he could also just gamble like a super on. It would be a 50 50. Um, but he could, like, theoretically, let's say he could still do overhead, rush punch, link super two, and that would give him time to react because that's a hit confirm. So it would keep the hard way to do it that's the hit confirmable, but it would allow you a way to just, like, cancel it, and that would allow you to combo to super two, like, super one from it, or to, like, you know, um, catch an opponent who parries or something like that. That would be a lot better. That would be a nice buff. I I super agree with that buff. Increase the start of a far jab from 6 frames to 4 frames. Okay. Extend the cancel window on background house past the first active frame. That's usually not a big deal. I forgot about that. Background house cancels, but it knocks down so it doesn't cancel into anything useful except taunt. Increase hit stun on crouching short, crouching forward, and standing run house so they are not negative on a hit. I agree with that. Change opponent's movement when juggled with the middle hits of all high speed barrage so that the hits will connect for more ranges and at more heights. Okay. Extend the first hit of EX downward so it more consistently connects against crushing characters. I agree. Add EX versions of Total Destruction, which immediately does the grab part among activation, as with Oros, Kishin, Riki. I like that. Do not allow the punch version of Total Destruction to trade hits. I like that. Allow Q to deactivate Total Destruction. I like that. Decrease health bonus for having one to three personal actions. Um, so, hold on. He's keeping the first one the same, making the second one a little less, and making the third one a lot less. That's not enough buffs. Q needs more buffs than this. Like, I know this is, like, a huge buff list. This is, like, the biggest buff list so far, but Q is far behind. They need that, like, that, this isn't enough. They need to keep, he needs to keep on going with Q. Q is not going to be, even with all of this, Q is not competitive with Dudley. I don't know what I'd do with Q, though. That's a mess. His entire character's a mess. Maybe I'd make his his command grab faster. I'd make it, like, as fast as, as Makoto's. That's what I would do. That's the kind of thing that Q needs. That's fucking how desperate he is. Give him Karakusa speed command grab. Why the fuck does Makoto get that when she gets rewarded so much more for it, and Q, who can barely move, fucking has, like, a super slow version he can only land off parries? I'd actually be hella down for him to get that. If anything, he deserves to have more damage on a Karakusa... Karakusa speed command grab than Makoto does. Well, his does lead to a lot of damage, just the way Makoto's does. Stun bar. Remy stun bar increased to regular size. Okay, so he's removing the two short stun characters entirely. I agree with that. Increased damage of crouch short by six points to almost match reuse. Um, I've never seen Remy's crouch short damage. Is it that bad? No, I've seen it. It's shitty. I just pictured the normal. Fix the earlier hitboxes on closed spheres to knock down versus airborne opponents. Like the later hitboxes do. Rather than have them leave... St I didn't know the later hitboxes did. I didn't know that. That's news to me. Um, increase hit stun of far forward. Far roundhouse crouching forward towards forward. Um, I like that a lot. I would actually increase hit stun and block stun on all those normals actually. Decrease grounded opponent knockback on far standing forward. Enlarge hitboxes on second hit of target combo. Uh... Oh, the standing forward hard kick target combo. There's actually he has another target combo that a lot of people don't know about. It's jab into short. Not not common knowledge. It's not even like a chain. It's like a target combo. It's like a weird little thing. Like even if you do, I think crouching short, it comes out as a stand short. Um. Allow chaining from crouch jab crouch strong. Whoa. Whoa. That's a low confirm. Short, short, crouch short to crouch jab and crouch jab to crouch strong. I like that. That's like like a that's like a Terry's crouching normals. That'd be fine. Decrease total length of personal action. I don't I don't know what Remy's personal action does. Increase life meter gain for all light of virtues. What meter? Oh, just meter gain from all light of virtues on startup. So he gets a lot more meter from mashing projectiles. I like that. He's mostly just buffing the the meter gain on hit and block. Allow all strengths of Rising Rage Flash to be super cancel on hit block parry. Allow juggles after all versions of Rising Rage Flash. Yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. And they better make he better make his super struggle like more properly. Increase hit advantage of short forward cold blue kicks so they're not negative on hit from up close. Make forward version plus two so supers can be linked off at point blank. I like that, I like that. Remove super flash activation. There it is. I was wondering when the buff to super three would happen. Removing super flash would pretty much do it. That would be fine. Health increased for 12. Health increased from 1050 to 1120. Same as Sean, Remy, Necro, etc. Or I was one of the 1120 characters. Increased hit stun on far stand, on standing strong, far strong. Standing fierce, crutching fierce. Standing short, standing forward, standing roundhouse, crutching forward, and back forward. That was a long list of normals. He says hit stun, but I'm still down for hit stun and block stun. Like, fucking let's do this. Just make them fucking safer in general. Don't just make them... Like, they're unusable if they're even blocked, if you can't confirm those things. Why the fuck not just make them, like, just, like, all, like, minus two at worst? I mean, maybe not for 12, because a lot of his buttons are really, like, far. But, like, um... chun -Li can still, like, super two, like, a blocked 12 stand roundhouse, and he can't do anything to confirm stand roundhouse, so, like, why the fuck not just make it a little bit safer? That would be fine. I think hit stun isn't enough. I think block stun too. 12 was pretty bad. Make crouching strong and standing forward only parryable high. I'm trying to picture 12 crouching strong. Oh, he puts his like palm up and he like kind of angles it upwards. Like, like, like up and towards. So high only parries on far strong. I didn't wait. Hold on. On, on crouching strong and on standing forward. <laughs> crouching standing forward can be parried low. That's like a super jump cancel. But that's still really... I didn't know that. That's sad. Make crouching fierce and back forward. Only parryable low. I like that. I like these changes a lot. It's He doesn't have enough... Like, you can just parry 12 so easily. Activate the earlier hitboxes and back forward that exist but cannot connect. I didn't know that. Allow far strong, stand strong, and crouching strong to be special and super cancelled. Yes. He needs to confirm. Give him a combo. I need something. He needs to he needs to have one combo. I'm going to read until he puts a combo in 12. He just needs one. It doesn't even need to be a good combo. Allow crouching strong to be super jump cancelled on hit slash block. Um, yeah. Yeah. Allow crouching forward to be super cancelled on hit slash block slash parry. Um, yes, 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 yes. Actually, I would make it, like, special move cancelled, too. Like, why the fuck not? It's, like, a pretty slow normal. You might as well give it, like, fucking some reason to actually use it beyond a poke. It would be... You still would, you'd still use his other cancels. Increase hit and block advantage of Jab Axe. Raise its damage. Raise its damage. Jab Axe does nothing. It literally gets one hit most of the time. It needs a vacuum effect on all versions of Axe. That's what he actually needs. He needs a vacuum effect on all versions of Axe. He needs more hits on all of them. That would be the buff that 12 deserves. Allow all air normals to be special cancelled into Axe or Draw. And super cancel into X flat. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty crazy, but I'm down. Change opponent trajectory when juggled into the X needle to Bring them down so that more of it will connect. Okay. Remove low damage air to air version of X flat. Have it always do full damage even versus air. Um. Okay. Increase number of stocks to two. During X copy, allow 12 to do EX moves. Maybe even the opponent's chosen super. I feel like he should just have like unlimited meter when he transforms into them. He says reduce spending chunks of the remaining timer. Reduce copy X copy startup from 12 frames to 1 frame. Fucking down. That's that's an amazing change. That's a massive buff. When hit during X copy's recovery, instead of taking increased damage, 12 now takes 66% damage. So he takes reduced damage. But it's a guaranteed punish, so that's still okay. Sean, here we go. Here we go. That's a long list of buffs. Increase hit stun of close and far fierce, crouching fierce, standing forward, far roundhouse, crouching forward, and towards fierce to make them not negative on hit. I, again, I say end block. Allow Sean roll to be super cancelled during the middle. 
that wouldn't fix it, but sure, that would be a buff. He could do like like close stamina house, John roll super, but he could just do close stamina house super. But that would give you like a hit confirm out of stamina house, which that would be kind of cool. So I'm I'm done with that change. Decrease the startup of light, medium, heavy, Ryubi Kyaku. That's his wheel kick. From being 25 frames to much faster. Make roundhouse version knock down. Um, yeah, I like that. In fact, you should be able to combo into the light one, maybe. Increase hit advantage of light medium versions of that same move to allow links to super after hitting. Okay, I take it back being able to combo into them. Being able to super out of them. Actually, you know what? It would still be fine. It would still be fine if you could do, like, stand fierce into light, Ryubi, Kyaku, and then link super. That would be okay. Decrease the startup of all tackles so that crutch forward into jab tackle combos. Yes. Standing slash crouching fierce into strong tackle combos, and fierce tackle is one frame away from comboing in that situation. Allow fierce tackle to be faked slash cancelled by tapping kick during startup. Make fierce and EX tackles unground parryable. Sure. Change EX tackle so that the hitbox is active from 8 frames to end, and will automatically grab whenever it reaches the opponent. Allow EX tackle to be super cancelled on the last hit. Tackle is also pretty crap, it's very unique about. So how about we make it to a move he wants to choose? Yes, I, I like that. Reduce startup of light, medium, hard, EX, dragon, smash. That's his uppercut. To from 5, 5, 9, 8 to 3, 4, 3, 3, 4, 5, 3. So he wants light and heavy and EX to be 3 frames, and then medium to be 4 and hard to be 5. That's good. I like that. That's like, he, they need to be faster. They need to have bigger hitboxes. That's a big issue. They're not big enough. Fix Hyper Tornado so that it juggles properly versus airborne opponents. Um, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that change. Decrease recovery on Hotto Burst from 61 to 51. Still unsafe, but a bit more setup time on hit. I suggest replacing his Fierce slash EXDP animation with the extra hit Donkey Add and Second Impact, but I don't know how that possible that is to actually do. I like it. Make all successful throws invincible for entire animation. Um, that's that's fair. There's only one time where that's really used and it's really buggy. Fix a bug where characters are allowed to move during the opponent's super flash. I've seen that. I've actually seen that happen. Um, allow universal overheads and personal actions to be done while holding away or towards. Yeah. Fix bug where some characters can attack immediately after attacking air throw. I didn't know that that's like super obscure. Fix rare move interaction bugs. X flat versus EX Yago. No, leave that in. Actually, I I no. Wait, no, X flat versus Tengu Stone. That's fine. Yeah, the ones he listed are okay. Not fixing it, being able to OTG Dudley or Hugo with certain supers. As all of those are rollable. Yeah. Characters passing through each other, not fixable. Interactions such as Makoto's EX Yate and Chun Li's Dash or Chun Li's Dash versus Yun's Dash. Cannot be fixed without a major rewrite. Move motions. If I had my way, all special moves are half cancel motions. Would be replaced with quarter circle motions. He wants no half. Half circle motions. Did I say half cancel? Akuma's red fireball might stay half circle, but that's all. There's no reason Karakusa. Machine gun blow. Ducking, cross counter, capture, and deadly blow should be half circle motions when there's no corresponding quarter circle motion to distinguish them from. Yeah. Um, Mike Z is a god. Mike Z knows how to design a game. If I ever need a game designed, I'd hand a game to him. I'm like a third strike diehard, and I would play a game that had all of these changes. It's not quite my list of changes, but a lot of things I would change, he'd change too. And often in the same way. And he had the same design philosophy I did. I appreciate what he thinks. Anyway, let's watch the rest of this. That was really that was a really good read. Was that Yuyama who posted that? Thank you.